happy Sunday and welcome back to my channel. So this week we're going to be doing a little bit of a cleanup and kind of like a spring refresh in our backyard area right out here. Typically when you watch my videos you see me working in this part of the backyard but we also have two sides to the house that have like a garden area to them and then a section back here as well. Those areas during the winter time have gotten very overgrown. <laughs> they just have tons of weeds and are taking over the brick walkway that we laid over there. Basically the goal this week is to clean up this area to add some pretty decorative elements and to get it in a good spot so that as we move into summer we can start to decorate and make it look a little bit nicer out here. So I thought it'd be fun for you all to kind of go through this process with me and clean up the yard and just get everything looking really good. So if you're interested in seeing how we are going to clean up this space and start to add some decorative details to it then stick around and watch this video and we're gonna get right into it. Alright guys, so the first step that we're going to do is to weed whack all of these weeds that have gotten super overgrown covering our brick walkway and the stone walkway that I've laid so that we can have a nice clear path and we can clean up any bushes and trees and things like that that are getting crazy as well. I have this weed whacker here. This is a battery operated one that I borrowed from my parents. So we're going to give it a try and we're going to clean up the walkway. Rainy days don't seem so wet Stormy nights don't stay Oh my gosh guys, I... <laughs> literally just look like the mud monster. I had to wipe it all off. You can still see it on my legs. I'll show you up close. But I was covered head to toe in grass and mud from weed whacking that brick walkway. But it's all done now. I have a little bit over on this side of the house to finish up with the battery on the weed whacker died so I put it on the charger. So what I'm going to do now is leaf blow all that stuff into one area and then I'm going to make Matt clean it up. And then I'll be able to go in with some weed spray and just spray the walkway to keep everything at bay for a little while so I don't have to do this again next weekend because in Florida everything grows so fast so it would literally grow back in a matter of days if I don't do that. And then once we have that done then we can bring the lights up. That way we have some lighting out here if I want to keep working on the bench as it gets dark. Right now we have like probably two hours until it gets dark so I've got a good amount of time still to finish up working on this but I think getting the lights up first would be a better idea while we have a lot of daylight because I'm going to be on a ladder. That's the plan I'm going to grow grab the leaf blower and we can get it all kind of put into one From area. That we met, you're Okay, so I want to hang the lights up and my plan is to connect them to the fence and then string them to the roof like in multiple strings. So I have two boxes of these LED lights and so I want to string them in like four lines from the fence to the roof so that they're hanging over that brick walkway. So that's the plan. So we're going to connect them and then see how it looks stringing it to this the house. This could be the best thing that I'll ever know. Talk for hours and never slept Two silhouettes on the concrete steps We watched the sun as it slowly crept From the horizon to the place we met Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know Oh, 
Okay, so our next task is to fix up this bench. So we've already pressure washed it and gotten it cleaned up. This was a bench that somebody had just put out on the street. I talked to the person that put it out and they said that it was totally fine, other than it had a couple of screws that were missing that they didn't feel like replacing. So we just need to replace those screws. And then I think that I probably won't stain the entire thing because I do like the color of this wood, but it was missing one piece of wood that came loose that we need to replace. This is not the same color, so I'm going to try and color match this with a stain to put into the armrest over here. And then we will just seal it so that it's protected from rain and water and things like that, and it should be pretty good to go. If I show up, will you show me around if I make you laugh? I was just going to stain this one piece right here, but Matt has since convinced me to stain the entire thing. So we are going to use this Minwax gel stain in the color Walnut. Usually I use a water-based stain, but gel stains are much more pigmented and they penetrate faster. So in three minutes you can wipe the stain off and then it'll have the color and it'll dry really quickly and then you can seal it. So we're going to use this because I want it to be a darker color wood. We're going to stain the whole entire thing and then wait three minutes and then wipe it all off. Tomorrow I'll come back and seal it all so that it's waterproof or the rain and everything like that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and finish up the bench. So the last things that I want to do are spray paint all of the metal that's on the bench to make it a nice even black because there is a little bit of rust and fading on it. And then we're just going to seal up the bench with a clear coat and it'll be good to go. If I make you love, you give me some time. Cause I know that a girl like you, that a girl like you could be falling in love with just about anyone. Oh, do, 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 do. Right, guys so we're gonna go ahead and plant some seeds in some of the plant boxes that I've built on the sides of our house we have some on this side there's two right here and then we have them lining the entire walkway side on the other side of the house so I have a bunch of different kinds of seeds that I've been saving to put out here and then some little like labels that I made with just a little label maker we're gonna plant them in these boxes and we'll see how they do um, we have had like a little bit of cold in Florida and it's tapered off and so now we're moving into summer so this will give them AC just stop so this will give them a little bit of cooler weather before it gets really really hot to start growing so that they don't get just totally roasted by the sun I'm gonna start off with these guys and these are some spaghetti squash that we took from a spaghetti squash that we were eating and dried them out on a plate for a couple of weeks I've never tried to grow spaghetti squash like this before but that is what Google said to do so we're gonna give it a go and see how they do and I'm literally just going to take some of these seeds and stick them in the ground like a few inches apart, like five inches apart, and see how it does. Some of them started to sprout like some little root systems and things like that so I'm hoping they do pretty well. I'm not you know like an expert gardener or anything like that so they might not all make it but we'll, we'll try and we'll see and if not we have some more we can plant. 
Okay, so now I have quite a few of our spaghetti squash seeds planted, so I'll save the rest and we can use them in future garden beds or if these ones don't take, we'll have some more. And we're gonna plant some of these other seeds that we have, so I have quite a lot. This one I just recently got, it's a loofah gourd. I thought that was really cool. It's, um, I think a fruit technically that you can grow, but it's used to make loofahs. So I wanna grow that one. We also have some different lettuces and kales and sage cucumber all kinds of stuff so i think i'm gonna put some sage in this one and then we can stick our little sign with it and then we will just keep going like that planting seeds in all of the boxes i will check back in with you guys in a future video in like a few weeks time to show you how everything is growing what's taking what's not and then we can maybe do an update down the road where we either clean up the garden or collect fruits and veggies that it's made or plant more seeds depending on what happens So that wraps up this week's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you got to see kind of some of the steps that we're taking to update the backyard and make it look a little bit nicer and get it ready so that we can enjoy it in the spring and summertime before it gets really crazy hot out here in Florida. I think it looks so much nicer. I really love the lighting details and having regained the walkway. So I'm really happy with how it turned out and I'm excited to start adding some more details to the space and decorative pieces to clean it up. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more like this every week. I put out new videos every Sunday and we do a ton of really fun things like home renovations, room makeovers, DIYs and thrift flips, all kinds of really fun stuff. So if you are into that sort of thing, then make sure that you join our community so that you can see all the fun stuff that we're doing here on the channel and get some ideas for your space. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next Sunday. We got time.